Here's five tips for getting comfortable and getting better at talking to a camera from a guy who does this for a living. So let's get into it. You gotta just press record. Number one is the tip you guys are expecting and everyone's gonna say it, it's practice. Talking to a camera is not the most natural thing to do and the more you do it, the better you get at it. And so practice really is going to be the number one thing that is going to improve the way you talk to a camera and help you just feel way more comfortable talking to a camera. The more you do it, the better you're gonna get. Now talking to a camera can really feel unnatural and kind of weird and I've totally been there where it's just felt super awkward talking straight to a camera. So this second tip, and this one helped me so much, was just realizing that everyone does this. Look at your favorite YouTube channels. I mean, they're talking right into the camera, looking at you and you're watching it and it looks like they're looking at you. This is just very natural. It's what a lot of people do on the internet, even people in television, they'll do this, they'll talk straight into the lens. This is a very normal thing that people are doing when producing content. Number three is a really great practical tip that I think is gonna help a lot of you guys, especially if you're just starting out and you're brand new to this. This tip is to move your LCD screen behind your camera. If you're shooting on the front facing camera on your smartphone or you have a camera that has a flip out screen, you know more than anyone that the most distracting thing is that screen because you can see yourself and the natural thing to do is to look at yourself while you are shooting the video. Now you don't wanna do this because this actually feels really unnatural for the viewer. For example, if I'm looking to the camera right here, uh, you can tell that I'm not looking at you. Now I'm looking back at you guys and now I'm not. And so you definitely do not want to be looking at yourself while talking to the camera. And a really cool practical tip is just moving that LCD screen and at least practicing. Of course, you wanna set up your shot. You wanna make sure that you are pressing record and all that kind of stuff. But when you're just getting started, it can be really helpful for the first few times to move the LCD screen so that there's not even a distraction there to pull your eyes away from the lens. You can just talk straight into the lens like someone is there. And that is my fourth tip is to imagine that you you're talking to someone. One of the tricks that I do is I pretend like I'm gonna send this video to a friend or I'm gonna send this to a family member and this helps me just feel more confident and comfortable on camera when talking to someone and it kind of takes away the fact that I'm talking to a camera because I feel like this is gonna go to someone and it can be really overwhelming to imagine all these viewers watching your video but if you focus down on one person and pretend like it's going to just one person, it can really calm your nerves and help you feel more comfortable on camera. Adding this human element really has helped me a lot in being comfortable talking to the lens. Tip number five is to be confident and be you. Trust me, it's a lot easier to feel unconfident and awkward when you are putting on a front and it's not really who you are, especially when you watch it back, you're like, this is kind of cringy. So if you just be you, you have fun and you're true to yourself, you're going to watch it back and you at least know like, hey, I did me and I'm true to myself, which is a great thing. Now I need you to hold up for a second because a whole lot of people get it twisted up here and it kind of makes their videos really boring. Do not get confused with being yourself as being boring. Let me explain. Often when I see people getting started with making YouTube videos, they can be really boring and they can be really monotone and talk calmly. Not that everyone has to be fun, but I want you guys to get into this mindset with me. When shooting your videos, I want you guys to think about when you're around your friends, when you're around your family, when you're at your best self and you have that energy that is fun and laughing and throwing jokes out, that is the personality, that is the mindset that you wanna bring to the camera. Because people are watching you and you want them to feel close to you when they watch your YouTube videos, you want them to feel like a friend or like a person in the room and really you can't do that unless you act like you are with your buddies and they're just hanging out with you and having a good time. Now this is so much easier said it done, it takes a lot of practice and it's something that I still have to work on all the time. Even when I'm shooting videos like this, I have to remind myself to have fun with it, be jokey because that's how I usually am is I'm throwing jokes, I'm making funny faces, I'm trying to make people laugh. That's just the kind of guy that I am. And so I want you guys to think about, you know, who are you in your best moments and bring that energy to the camera. Again, it's gonna take practice. So I wanna encourage you guys to keep going, keep making videos and keep pressing record. Click on the screen for some tips on how to not look bad on camera. I'll see you guys in the next video.